What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Marcus Jose from the Bullco, and you guys are watching America Bully Lifestyle Vlog number four. Now, we've been doing this for a couple days now. Um, I don't think I'm getting any better, but I'm just gonna tell you guys and give it to you straight. Um, so I woke up this morning about 5 a.m. Um, to an unfortunate event. Uh, one of my puppies and one of my training puppies, uh, Mariah, had an accident in the kennel, um, but it really wasn't their fault. I let them out at 12, a, 12 a.m. last night and I got up at 5 a.m. So, you know, five hours later, they're only three and two months old. So, not their fault at all. So, <laughs> it's just, it was a surprise for sure. Well, it, I guess it wasn't a surprise, but I wasn't even mad. It was my fault that I had slept so long without getting the puppies out. So I started cleaning up, uh, put the puppies outside, put the, grabbed the kennels, put them outside, washed them down, washed off the puppies, uh, mopped my floor, cleaned my floor, if, you know, making sure there's any no excess, you know, stuff on the floor. So I'm here to, you know, get these dogs trained, and if they have an accident, it is what it is, right? Uh, so anyways, so, um, after that, I cleaned up the puppies, cleaned them off, dried them off, put the kennels back. Uh, I got the puppies put in their kennels, and then I let I let Sadie out. Sadie used the restroom. I, you know, then again, had to walk out of there, to walk outside as well. Let her go to the restroom, and then call her back inside, put her back in the kennel, and then we our start our day, right? Um, so no coffee up to up to from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., which kind of sucks. But got some coffee at 6 6:30. I let out 40. Forty goes into his bed, we hang out for a little bit, kids start getting up, they start getting ready for school, you know, the whole nine. So, drop my son off, come back, I get back about, uh, let's see, 7, 7.30, 7, about 7.45, about 8 o'clock, get back about 8 o'clock. As soon as I get back, we start training. So, uh, I want to train my dogs first, so my plan for today was to not only get Sadie out with all of my dogs, but also get her to run on the treadmill. Um, not just not just you know getting introduced to it, but actually running. So we're gonna check out that video in a little bit. Let me explain a little bit, a little bit more what we did. Um, I got outside. I trained my dogs first: Kula, uh, Ryder, Bane. I trained them first. After they were done and got you know the, any excess energy out, I bring out Sadie. Now I have Sadie on a leash for one, for one reason. She's still very puppyish in the way her mannerisms are. Uh, she's real twitchy, we're really in people's face, right? And I'm not worried about anybody else on the yard besides Vita. I trust Vita to be out there because she's gonna listen to me, but at the same time, uh, I know Vita, and if you're not calm around her, if you're being super, you know, on top of her, she's gonna, she's gonna you know, at least take a snap at you. And that's something we don't want to do. We don't, I don't want to allow that uh, for this puppy because you never know how she's going to react. Is she going to fight back? Is she going to cower? Is it going to, you know, push us back a couple days in, you know, training? Um, now, I have seen trainers before utilize this technique that, you know, with dogs that, you know, who are over, overbearing or very aggressive. Um, you know, basically put a muzzle on them, allow the other dog to dominate them, whatever it is. I don't believe in that. I don't, I think that spawns more energy over the top energy and we really don't want that here. So I let Vita out. I got Sadie out. I got Sadie on a leash. Um, I started allowing them to sniff Sadie, but I have Sadie by the leash and I, I, I hold her body in place while my dogs come and sniff and I want to just teach this dog, this is how they're going to say hello, this is how you need to say hello, and, you know, to be honest with you, this is what she's doing. She's, you know, she's doing a little bit of going in their faces, but for the most part, you know, she goes up to them, goes up to their behind, and sniffs them, says hello, and, you know, that's kind of it, so it's really good. Anyways, we start getting the train started. Put Vita on, and I start warming, I start warming Sadia. Now, Sadie already knows what it is, so as soon as I put the, put the leash on, I start walking towards it, she stops, right? So when she stops, what do we do? We just gotta keep her moving, right? I pull her to the left, I pull her to the right, keep her moving. I get her on a treadmill for the first time, like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes after we start doing this, and my camera wasn't rolling at this point because I wanted to just start recording when we get her to the point where she ended that last time, and <laughs> the funny thing is when I start, when I actually get on the trouble and start going, I have freaking dogs in my way. You can't even see Sadie. So uh, we, you're going to see the video start when she's already walking. 
um, and going already. And you'll see me increase the, the speed and everything. Now you'll see that she's not 100% comfortable with it, obviously, but she's still following my lead of the least corrections. Um, you will see that the lead is not tight on her. I'm not holding her on, but I am giving her corrections. I'm kind of anticipating her trying to jump off, which she did a couple times. Um, but all in all, it was a great experience for her and me. It was good experience because, you know, I make sure that we start good and we end good, right? In the middle, in the middle, eh, it was kind of rocky because she was really scared of what she was doing. But she trusted me enough to be on the treadmill and sit, at least stay on there for as long as she did. It was about 15 minutes. So without further ado, let's go and check this out. Woo, look at it, Dan. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on, girl, let's go. Let's go. Uh, Ryder, move. super tense on here uh, but we couldn't get out to do a walk today and you really don't want to you know I, I guess you want to keep it fun so this is what we're doing today working on treadmill work we're also working on probably, you know some you know how her, her behavior we got her out with the rest of the rest of the dogs today hey I'll go no I'll go no hey okay no Come on, big girl. I was actually surprised that she stayed on for as long as she did. In the video, you won't see her jump off because I cut it out because it was just you know too long anyway. But she jumped off, and what I did is I reset, I turned it, I turned the the treadmill off. I walked her around, got her back up, and started it again. She went up for another three minutes, jumped off. I said, "Okay, we're pretty much done." But we never want to end on the dog getting their way, right? We never want to end it on that. So I stopped the treadmill. I walk her back around, I put her on, but we don't start it, okay? I have her stand there for about two or three minutes, and I give her, give her a good girl, good job, give her some love, and boom, we're done, right? But in her mind, she didn't get what she wanted. She didn't get to stop, right? Um, she still was on there. So in her mind, she didn't win. She just, you know, the workout was done. All right, so, and then after, you know, doing all that, um, I let I gave Sadie a little bit more leash. She she got went you know in the yard using the restroom, drinking a lot of water. Um, and the great things that the great thing that happened is that I was sitting there in a chair with with Sadie on a leash, and she sits down. I mean seriously, the first time she sat down when all the dogs are out. She sat down before when nobody's out there, when I'm just mean her, but when all the dogs are out, she sits down. It was an absolute breakthrough, and I can tell that it's absolutely working the training that we're doing with her. Now, after everything got done, it was about three hours in the yard, I still get training done with Mariah. Now, it, with Mariah's case, in the video, I explained everything that's going on, why I decided to run her program the way that I did. I'm sorry, I'm sweating right now because I just got done on the treadmill myself. In the video, you're gonna see why I did things with her the way that I did them, and what it looks like now, and what it's gonna look like, you know, in the future, you know, or moving forward from here. Let's go check that. Come on, come on. Come. Come on, good job. What's up guys, how's it going? 
All right, so today we are working with Mariah, okay? Now, the reason that we have not been able to work with Mariah for the last couple of days is because number one, she's a puppy, and I needed her to get back to being a puppy and not having being led by kind of an erotic dog, right? Um, if you think about it, guys, I'm always talking about you have to be calm, you have to be assertive, you have to be confident when you're leading your dog. Think of it you know, when you're leading your dog. Now think if you're a, a dog that's being led around by a very unstable dog, right? You're gonna have problems, okay? One of her main problems was her unconfidence because she was following that dog, because she was following a dog who didn't really know what she was doing either, uh, she developed really bad habits. So I needed her to get back to just being a puppy, being happy, uh, being able to, you know, have her head up, you know, be on a leash without putting her head down. That's what I wanted to reset her back to. And she absolutely got there. Now, since she's back, now we can start building on that, okay? So, first things first, I'm getting tired of having to wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes from when I open the door for her to come inside. So the first thing we're gonna teach her, we're gonna teach her how to come. And that coming is gonna mean something great, either treats, love, affection, but she has to come to get that. And that's what we're gonna start first. We're gonna start today, okay? Good girl, come, come, good job. What I'm looking for is wagging the tail. I'm looking for her to come to me. I'm looking for her to keep her head high and be confident in this. When I first met this dog, her head was very low, and I'm sure that's not how she always was, but in unfamiliar situations, this is how she was. And if you're not confident in an unfamiliar situation, it doesn't even matter if you're confident in a familiar situation, okay? All right. Good girl, good job. Good girl, wait. Come, come on, come on, baby, good job. Good girl, good girl, okay? Because this dog, every time you tell her to come, she runs from you. Um, I believe that she's associating being told to come to run, okay? So now we have to associate being told to come with a treat, with affection, with wagging the tail, something positive to where when you say come, she comes to you instead of run away, okay? So we just gotta reset this dog, that's all we gotta do. And this is how you wanna train a dog like this. When she first got here, there's no way I could have trained her. Well, there is a way, but it would have been a lot harder, okay, than, than doing this right now. Allowing her to be with confident dogs, good girl. Allowing her to be with confident dogs and build that confidence, okay? Ready? Come, come, good job, sit. Good girl, wait. Good girl. Let's see if she does it without the leash. Wait. Good girl, come here. Good job, yay! Wait. Sit. Wait. Wait, no. Wait. Mariah, right, come. Good job. We're gonna get treats off the ground. Treat good, girl. So yeah, she's doing really good. I like the fact that she came right away. Um, it is obvious she likes the food, so we're gonna make sure we don't allow her to latch on to just the food. All in all, it was good. Um, we did do some food control with Sadie and Mariah like this. Wait. Good girl. Okay. Come on. Good job, mamas. Eat. Very good. Good job. Nope. Ready? Okay. Good girl. Good job. And we got some training done with my puppies too and my dog. So all in all, it was a great day. It was a long day. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. It was a short one. We had a lot to do, but we still were able to get it done. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys pick up some tips and tricks and stuff like that. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell so when my video goes live, you guys can like it and share it yourselves. Um, I appreciate it. If you guys are looking for help yourself, please hit me a DM on my Instagram or on my Facebook or email, and I can help you out. All right? Take it easy.